couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, I wanna explore with you the options you have inside the good old boogie woogie walking bass line. I'm talking about this one. Okay, you can take this and turn it into so many licks and ideas for transition between chords um, that you probably don't know about because you have those, you know, those cliche, those good old classic walking bass moves. Okay? But what happens when you take a look at what's going on here and just break it apart and create your own style, your, your own licks in your own style, I mean. Um, you have, let's take E5. So it's two on the fifth string and the open sixth string. And we also have three and four on the bass, okay? And four and five on the fifth string. So we have zero, three, four, and two, four, five. Okay, so this is enough for a lot of exploration. Okay, especially if you lead to A as well, which is exactly the same, just one string down or up musically. Okay, so yeah, you can just start by getting your fingers used to it if you're not used to it by now. Okay, just play E, play a lick, um, just a very simple one, just over the scale itself. Okay, but try to create a rhythm out of it. Okay, just E and A, E and A. And then change it, okay? Instead of two, four, five, try to create okay, a lick out of it. Try to create a new melody. Two, five, four, okay? Okay, immediately you have a new expression. Play it on E and A. And then try to play with the three and four. Okay, you can play uh, the notes on the sixth string and use the note on the fifth string, the two on the fifth string as kind of a pell note. Or, okay, you can hammer on the three to four. Okay, and then do the same on A. If you do that, try to make the transition between A and E by using the sixth string. Okay, and then you have on the fifth string, and then on the sixth string. And you can use the two from A. So now you, you start to see what I'm talking about by having way, way too many options here that uh, most people just uh, don't care to explore. It all depends on the rhythm. Um... You see, you can um, you can tell a story using these notes only. It's a really good creative exercise. See, I pulled off from five to four. Okay, and then I played the zero, three, four on the bass, and then the two. So I did kind of a reverse root. Okay, five, four, two, and then three, four, two. Um, you can also start by, you can start by the four, uh, four, five, or five, four. And then add three hammer on to four and then two and then you move to A and try to do the same thing. Okay? And um, you don't always have to shuffle, you don't have to... You can do straight eighth rhythm. Okay, shuffle is ta 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 ta. 
Straight eights are ta 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 So you can take a pick and just strum. Okay, uh, I'm using my fingernails, so uh, you can start from five and four, or from four to five, or four to two. Okay, nobody starts from the four. Okay, so try it and see what you get. Okay. Okay, gives you a completely different sound. start and end on four and you can combine um, you can take um, three and zero or four and zero um, but not one after the other see the first one was sound like this with three on the bass okay I'm just playing randomly then I did four on the bass and I bent it a little. Right? I'm just exploring different sounds using this classic line um, because it hides many secrets. Hey, you can play A and use the three and four on the sixth string. the fifth and sixth strings on three and four while you're on A. Okay? And use the two in between the licks and then it sounds like you're playing a complex thing while you're randomly playing the sixth string and the fifth string. Um, you're just adding the two on the fourth string every now and then. can dirty the sound a little bit and I'm just trying to give you creative ideas for your own guitar exploration because most people just play okay, or the shuffle version okay, without even thinking that this is right ground for for a lot of guitar exploration because this okay is a classic line for a reason because it has a very distinct sound it's kind of a it's kind of a modal thing without being modal so so explore it okay take your time and try to see what you can get out of it and actually the sky's the limit i just wanted to give you a primer on exploring this you can add chords to it of course the a the e e7 a7 uh you can do the lines here you can do it um Okay. You can take that seven and play with five and seven on the bass strings. Uh, I'm playing, okay, I'm playing E7. Okay, I'm playing these two notes, um, seven and six on strings three and four, with seven and five on the E and A strings. Okay, and you can also play A7. You can take this down one fret, and then you're on A7, so then you have the same idea and you can okay you can stretch your fingers and play the three and four if you like but as I said I just wanted to give you a primer I want to wet your, uh, your wet your palate and interest and pique your interest in this so try it it's a lot of fun hope I uh, hope I didn't overburden you with ideas I tend to do it but just take it slowly one idea at a time so I'll see you in the next lesson bye for now enjoy thanks for watching